Okay, so we're going to be talking about expanding brackets. Uh, these are exam questions that are usually worth one or two marks, and um, it will say something like expand and simplify. Okay, and it will give you something like this, and it will say 4n brackets n squared plus 2. And the question will be expand and simplify. Okay, so expand and simplify. Okay, um, all right, if you get that term, what it means is, is multiply this out and collect the like terms together. All right, now it's, it's fairly straightforward. It's fairly straightforward. All you need to do is make sure that each of the terms inside the brackets is multiplied by the term outside the brackets. So, if you uh, forget that a little bit and just look at this, you've got a term which is 4n multiplied by n squared. Okay, so forget that plus 2 at the moment. So 4n multiplied by n squared. Well, if you've got n multiplied by n squared, if you look at one of the rules of indices, it means that you add those two terms of n. So that becomes 4n to the power of 3. Okay, so that's the first little bit there that we've dealt with, and we've changed that now to 4n to the power of 3. So that's that bit. Now we need to deal with this plus 2. So we've got a situation where we're looking for to multiply 4n times the power of 2. So we've got 4n multiplied by 2. Okay, well, 2 lots of 4n is 8n. Okay? So, add that now to 4n cubed, and that's our answer. So, if you look at this, what we've done is we've multiplied that first bracket, 4n, multiplied by n to the power of 2, and we worked out that's 4n to the power of 3. And then we've multiplied that second term, which is 2, multiplied by 4n, and we've worked that out as 8n. And that is expanding and simplifying those brackets. The other type of question you're going to get is slightly uh, different, where you're going to get something like this, and it'll say expand and multiply 2a plus b in brackets, a minus b in brackets. Now, the way that's done is that we use um, something called uh, FOIL, okay, which is F-O-I-L. It's one of the ways of doing it. There is another way of doing it, which is a grid method. Uh, there's a couple of other different ways, but this is the most common way. And what it means is um, FOIL is um, first, then outer, then inner, and then last. Okay. Um, personally speaking, I don't usually remember that, but some people will mention it to you. Okay, the way I remember it is just simply as I multiply that one first, which is 2a multiplied by a. Well, I've got 2a, and I've got multiply that by a. So again, rules of indices, I've got 2a squared, because I'm adding 2a terms together. And then I multiply the next set of terms, which is 2a multiplied by minus b. Now, you've got to be very careful, it's a minus b sign. Okay, so minus b multiplied by 2a is minus 2ab. Okay, there's my 2a, there's my minus b, minus 2ab. Okay, then the next bit we multiply is this one, which is plus b multiplied by a. So that is plus a, B. And then the final bit that we multiply is that term, which is plus B multiplied by minus B. Now, a plus multiplied by a minus is a minus, and we've got B multiplied by B, which is B squared. Okay, so if I now expand and simplify, I've now got 2A squared 
which I can't do anything about because there's no like terms there. I can't put any more a squared terms together. I've got a b squared, but I've got, I haven't got any more a squared. However, that AB term and that AB term, I can bring together and I can simplify it. And I've got minus 2AB plus AB, which is minus AB. Okay? Minus 2AB plus AB is minus AB. And then lastly, I've got my minus B squared term. So, to expand and simplify or multiply out and collect like terms of brackets, 2a plus b brackets, multiplied by a minus b brackets, I end up with 2a squared minus ab minus b squared. And that will give you something like um, 1 to 2 marks, and that's going to be round about a grade b or a grade a. Uh, C questions, so B to C, something like that. Okay, and provided you remember, however you remember, if you use the acronym or you just use the, the way that I've, I've drawn it, some people remember it as a smiley face, something like that, um, but providing you, you uh, multiply out, you'll end up with the correct terms there. Okay, so there are the two different types of questions that you're going to get that's worth one to two marks.